Lizzie, I need you to babysit Fredo. But, Mom, the festival starts in like an hour. Honey, I need you to do this. Come on, Sam. Great. My perfect opportunity to go and get Mr. Keith to like me. And I have to babysit a monkey. But it's not your fault, is it? No. It's not my fault either. So, um, let's get going, banana boy. The feast begins. We fill our cabs with the honest food of Scotland. Uh, what do we have here? That's blood pudding made from cow's blood and suet. There's haggis made from the innards of a sheep sewed up in its stomach and cooked. And here we have cold boiled kidneys. This is what you guys eat? That's it. I'm back to being Jewish. The food's better. Like garbage, this smells. <laughs> More kidneys for me. Oops. Gordo. Um, I need your help. <laughs> you sure do. Your date is really underdressed. I know. I, I got stuck babysitting Fredo, and I was hoping maybe you could help me take care of him so I can hear Mr. Keith do his reading. If you want, I should take care of a chimp. To you, I'm a zookeeper. It'll be a mitzvah. Yes! Thank you, Gordo. I promise I'll make it up to you. I should live so long. <laughs> oh, Lizzie. I was afraid you weren't going to make it. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Did you hear that, Miranda? He was, um, he was afraid I wasn't going to make it. Yeah. Big whoop. When are you giving your reading, Mr. Keith? Oh, any minutes now. I'm going to videotape it. I'm going to videotape it. And next on our program, we'll be hearing some of the great poetry of Robert Burns. Fredo's gone this evening. What? How could uh, you miss him, Gordo? Mr. Ewan Cave. Well, wish me luck, everyone. You gotta help me find him. Gordo, I'm going to miss Mr. Keith. He's going to think I don't like him. Fine, let's go. Let's go. Thank you. 